Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross Gacha video for the year 2020. If you guys have missed out on my 7 star gacha video that was actually the first video of the new year. Well, here we are again. Happy New Year to those who are in the States. Yes, you guys celebrated New Year's a day later or rather a few hours later than those of us who are nearer to the equator. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> and of course, Ake Mashte Omedeto, if you guys uh, well, wish your friends in Japanese. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into the gacha because, well, New Year's is still around and everyone is still in the mood for it. So, yeah, why not celebrate the New Year throughout the whole month of January with well, the remaining Valkyrie? Us who are yet to receive their kimono costumes, I wouldn't call this a kimono, it looks more like a very fanciful ninja costume of Mikumo. So anyways, let's break down the episode plate um, of Mikumo's latest New Year's uh, costume. So 3855 total, pretty decent, it is almost close to a 7 star episode plate but you know, because the max level for this episode play is only a 6 star, 3855 is a very high total score. So well balanced stats around all 3 stats, of course you want to pay attention to who else is equipable with the uh, episode play itself. Center skill A rank, so with an A rank like that uh, for a center skill, you know this episode play is not meant to be used as a center position episode play, which is fine because we already have the two brand new 7 star episode plates that are meant to be used as a center position, so Mikumo is just basically sitting at the back and helping out. So that's fine, let's take a look at the rest of the skills, so active skill. S rank, so life recovery of 50%, a pretty decent uh, active skill um, needed for maybe mission clearing for the upcoming event, I suppose. And of course, life skill S rank, which is what we are here for. Combo bonus, if you guys still don't know about it, oh my goodness, you have really been living under a rock for 2019. Uh, yes, it's a brand new life skill that, well, relies on your combo accumulation throughout your live gameplay and of course it will give you that 35% boost in score per 50 combo attained. So yes, you need to be good at retaining your combos, if not this life skill is really uh, down the dumps and a waste of effort. So yeah, a pretty decent life skill with a very good um, average total score on well, a 6 star episode plate. This episode plate is looking towards a top tier, yet although it is not god tier like the 7 stars, I suppose. I, I guess that's what I'm gonna, you know, call the 7 stars tier level, I suppose. Alright, so let's look at the last page and see whether it comes with a special note attached to it. Sadly to say, it doesn't, so it's still within the top tier, but not the highest of the top tier, but somewhere maybe in the second tier rating for the top highest of its grading, you know, for um, 6 star episode plates. So yeah, so is Mikumo's episode plate worth the money invested? I would say yes, because um, right now we don't have any 7 star episode plates that have life skill supports. In fact, both of the two brand new uh, 7 stars are all center position episode plates. So, 6 star life skill supports are still needed. And if you are lacking in the star or a yellow element episode plates with such skills, it is definitely worth an investment into Mikumo's episode plate. If you're a Mikumo fan, uh, good thing I guess that Mikumo hasn't gotten her 7 star episode plate yet. You know, because you can spend your singing stones on Mikumo's gacha to attain her kimono costume which is only exclusive to pulling from this gacha. So yeah, why not uh, kill two birds with one stone, right? So luckily enough, I managed to scourge out 300 sting stones from the event. Uh, if you guys have not watched my pool video that I've uploaded on my Facebook YouTube page where I actually attained Kaname's 6 star episode plate, whew, 
well, I'll leave a short clip here on how I actually attain it. Um, and other than that, yeah, you can watch the whole Gacha Pool video on my YouTube Facebook page. Links in the description down below. Once again, make sure you follow me there because I do a lot more information updates on the Facebook page uh, rather than my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is mostly just for Gacha updates, you know. So, yeah. So, let's do this, guys. I can only afford the discounted template pool and that's it. So, hopefully enough, we get at least one or two costumes or uh, rather episode plates with her costume points so I can unlock her costume in the future with episode odds if required yeah so still I guess the friendliest way of attaining costumes as compared to the 7 stars Ooh, we get some loading there so hopefully my 7 star luck with Kaname hasn't really totally drained all my luck for the rest of the gachas oh dear so the animation does not seem <laughs> otherwise. Uh, we do get red plates, uh, red boxes, so that's not too bad. So let's skip all the common ones. Okay, no evolution. Ooh. Is this a new episode plate? I, I, I have not really looked through the entire listing clearly. Uh, so I'm a bit unsure. But it'll be nice if it is. Alright, and chuck moment. There we go, the last red box. So, okay, this is an old one, but that, that's okay. Ah, there we go. So, I do get two episode plates that are brand new for Kumo Kumo's kimono. So, that's, that's pretty nice. So, I'm pretty happy with it, even though I did not get her main episode plate. That's fine, you know. So, yeah. Uh, apparently draining my luck for the new year with Kaname's episode plate, I guess. Um, I, guys, if you guys have not attained any of the 7 star episode plates or rather 6 stars, uh, unless your luck is ridiculous, you manage to fully evolve any of the brand new 6 star episode plates that belongs to Cheryl or Kaname, uh, well... That, that's great <laughs> um, but if you guys have not attained a single copy do not feel bad um, there are worst off people uh, within Japan or on Twitter who have been sharing their pain regarding this brand new uh, format of gacha that Dana has tossed us and a lot of people have been voicing out through the feedback forms on Uta Macross itself so guys um, keep your hopes up Eventually, Dana will, you know, listen to their fans and, of course, players to improve on this brand new system of the seven-star episode play. Hopefully, uh, because a lot of people have been feed, uh, giving feedback to Dana. Um, of course, they have been posting up what they have written to Dana as well on Twitter. So a lot of it has been talked about how the. Um, six star plate is not able to use a rare up star to you know evolve the episode plate to a seven star and of course how the costume for the characters are only attainable through attaining those six star episode plates which is very harsh on the, the wallet because the, the episode plates have only a one percent chance of appearance uh, the one percent is actually a combination of 0.5 percent for both episode plates so, if you actually do your math right, it's actually less than 1% chance of appearance. Uh, so yeah, uh, a lot of people have been giving feedback uh, in a positive way, which is fantastic. And yeah, hopefully Dana listens to their fans. Uh, in fact, the, the team that have been doing Kuta Macross have been listening to their fans throughout the years, ever since Kuta Macross beginning up to now. That's why we have a lot of version updates, you know, and of course whenever fans report bugs and all these kind of things, they respond pretty quickly. So hopefully, maybe throughout the rest of the year, as more 7 star plates um, get released, Dana maybe tweaks the um, methods around because it is really really painful on the wallet with this current format of how the 7 star is being distributed. and. 
There are some of them who have already tossed in almost $10,000. Yes, literally $10,000. Um, there's one particular Japanese person who has posted on Twitter that he has already spent about 193,000 yen. That's literally thousands of dollars into the Kaname and Shero Gacha and they have yet to receive a single copy of either plate. So guys, um, keep your hopes up, you know, things might turn around for, you know, the better. That's how I see it. I don't think it will go any worse than this because Dana have been listening to their fans and players and improving the game, you know, unlike Pokemon Masters, <laughs> worst game ever. <laughs> so, um, even though, yes, Pokemon Masters is by Dana, but it's a whole different team behind each of the games. So luckily for us Macross fans, uh, we probably got a better team um, handling Uta Macross. Yeah, so keep your hope up and of course stay tuned to more Uta Macross you know, information through me um, by hitting the subscribe button to my channel. Uh, leave a like to this video if you found all the information useful as always. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video and Maybe my Facebook, YouTube page, uh, links in the description down below once again. Uh, as usual, I always do my uh, most urgent updates there. Uh, and especially, well, when I'm at work, because I'm not at home constantly to do videos. So yeah, guys, until then, bye!